truth-telling is an important part of enabling and facilitating change. It was a very historic sort of moment. I think it, I think it was long overdue. Police played an important and significant role in contributing to a traumatic history. This is a new chapter. You're going to see a different West Australian police. I'm committed to working with Aboriginal people to improve our relationships. It's a long time coming and it uh, just goes to show that he wants to have people respect the Aboriginal police officers as same as he wants the Aboriginal police officers to respect the people. In July, WA Police Commissioner Chris Dawson made an historic apology. On behalf of the Western Australian Police Force, I would like to say sorry to Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander peoples for our participation in past wrongful actions that have caused immeasurable pain and suffering. The Commissioner pledged to not only improve relations between police and Aboriginal citizens, but also to better the experience of Aboriginal officers. Aboriginal people in the force for so long um, have felt um, neglected at certain times. Mark Ninyet has recently been appointed as the head of the new Aboriginal Affairs Division. Um, we played our part in the stolen generation by removing Aboriginal people from their communities. That trauma exists still today and that relationship with Aboriginal people is still hard and fast in their minds. These past traumas used to make it particularly difficult for Aboriginal people to join the police force. When I first entered the police force 42 years ago, it was nothing like now. Johnny Hart has just retired after 42 years in the force. From what I've seen with other, with other Aboriginal police officers, the work culture has changed for the better. Not only did Johnny find it hard working in the city, but also when working in different country. The Yamaji people up there are um, different to Noongars, and I don't think they appreciated having a Noongar telling them what to do, but they didn't have any Yamajis to come in and take my place. One commitment Chris Dawson has made is increasing representation within the force. We've got 170 Aboriginal officers that currently are Aboriginal staff employees. Um, of that, that represents about 2.1% of the agency. The Commissioner, I know, um, is not setting targets, but I know he wants greater numbers than 3.6%. Uh, we need Aboriginal officers out there representing their communities. One example is through Step Forward, an Aboriginal cadetship program that started in 2016 to encourage young people to become more involved in the West Australian Police Force. It just assists with reducing that adversity that has existed between Aboriginal and, and policing over the preceding years. Senior Sergeant Jeff Regan is the cadet program director. I think it's important because when you look at the, uh, the contact that police have, I think it's over 70% of our contacts are with Aboriginal people. The young people are brought into the police academy, they undergo uh, an induction process and then we put them out in, into police stations where they experience on-the-job training. The cadet shit was really good for me. We did a lot of um, more growing as like in ourselves. Tiana Eads is one of the first graduates from the program. I joined the police force because I wanted to close the gap between Aboriginal people and the police force. I never really had a negative experience with them when I was younger but I know a lot of my family did and I just wanted to be that voice for Aboriginal people. To try before you buy I guess for all the intents and purposes where our young people can uh, find out what it's like um, to work and, and be in police stations. We need greater representation and leadership in the WA Police Force of Aboriginal people and we need to um, look at how we go about that, advancing that leadership as well. It's a godsend. These kids have got the opportunity now to do all their courses be, and become good police officers and show the community what they can do. Tiana says she's always felt comfortable as a Noongar woman in the police force. I wasn't worried. I knew that I would have people not agree with the decision that I made and I've lost a lot of people along the way, but it hasn't bothered me in the slightest because I've obviously gained another sort of family within the WA police force. The mission now is for the force to improve the perceptions the community has towards them. When the police came to Aboriginal communities, they were there to remove the children. 
so they ran. So the theory is it's almost like it's in genetically based in their mind that when they see their police, they run. Despite the challenges ahead, the future looks bright for police and Aboriginal relations. Things are changing. It's a positive world. Um, the Commissioner um, has put his heart on his sleeve. As one of your Aboriginal officers, I say thank you. You now allow me to be prouder, to feel valued, and to be able to contribute without fear or malice. I'm hoping that the apology will encourage a lot more young people to follow each other into the police force. I want to make sure that everyone's getting treated the right way and not just Aboriginal people, every race that there is that's out there. I want them to feel comfortable to be able to come to the police. I'm optimistic about a more positive future but today we are deeply sorry. Thank you.